This year, we had such a bountiful harvest of our winter squash here at the farm. So many beautiful different varieties to use throughout the winter months. One of my favorite ways to use all these different kinds of winter squash are in simple squash salads. Everyone that tries this salad is instantly hooked, and I can't wait to share the recipe with you. To start, just take one of your favorite varieties of squash. I love using butternut, but a buttercup would work great here too. Just go around the perimeter and make sure to peel the whole thing. It's great to have one of these heavy-duty peelers when you're doing this. Once it's peeled, cut off the top and the bottom ends and any blemishes that there might be on it. Then just have it down the middle and take out the seeds and pith. The seeds and the amount can vary on each type of squash and on the size of the squash. I'm using a smaller one here. If you want to roughly say about three salads as just a starter or a side dish, anywhere from a one to two pound squash will work great. Once you have the seeds removed, just dice up your squash in small pieces. Mine are about quarter inch squares. Place them onto a baking rack and then just drizzle olive oil and a little bit of real maple syrup over the top. Just take your hands and gently put this all over the squash and just kind of toss them around in the oil and then lightly salt and pepper them. Place the squash into a preheated 425 degree oven. This is just gonna roast the squash and help them cook perfectly. While the squash are roasting, we can start our warm vinaigrette. In a small saucepan, you wanna place one small onion or shallot, very finely chopped. Then just pour on top some apple cider, of course fresh, and a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Bring this to a boil on the stove and then reduce it to a simmer. It will need a simmer for about 10 to 12 minutes until the whole mixture is reduced to about a quarter of a cup of liquid. You can tell that means it's gonna reduce quite a bit, but this will help it thicken and become syrupy. After the squash is roasted for about 15 minutes, you wanna remove it from the oven and place in some just roughly chopped walnuts. You can also use pecans here, or if you're allergic to nuts, just leave them out. But they really add a nice crunch and the flavor of them toasted in the oven with the squash is really unbeatable. Also at this time, sprinkle on some fresh thyme. This seasons the squash so well. I just feel like thyme and butternut squash just marry perfectly. Sprinkle it over the top and just toss it in to make sure it gets evenly coated and place it back into the oven. Once the cider and vinegar are reduced on the stove, you can remove the saucepan and add in two teaspoons of Dijon mustard and whisk that up. And then while you're whisking, add in about a fourth to a half of a cup of olive oil. This can be depending on your taste for dressings. I like to err on the side of more of a fourth cup of olive oil, but if you like a very heavy oil presence in your dressing, you'll want to add more. Of course, use a good olive oil because you want the flavor to come out in this vinaigrette. Once you're done with the vinaigrette, the butternut squash is just about ready. In the last couple minutes, I like to add in some dry currants that will just plump up a little bit in the stove. If you don't have currants, craisins or dried cranberries work perfectly here. Or if you don't like either one, you can leave them out. After a couple minutes more in the oven, the squash and currants and nuts are perfectly roasted and you can remove them. To assemble this salad is so simple. Take some baby arugula, and if you don't use arugula a lot, you are definitely going to want to. It has a little bit of a peppery bite, but the baby arugula has a lot more subtle flavor than the large leaf variety, so make sure to buy the baby arugula. Place it either on a large serving platter if you want everyone to kind of go buffet style or on individual plates, and then generously heap on it your butternut squash and nuts and currants from the oven. And then just spoon over a little bit of your hot vinaigrette it will slightly wilt the arugula, but still keep its integrity. To finish this salad and really just gild the lily, I like to grate a little bit of fresh Parmesan cheese on top. The nuttiness of the Parmesan cheese goes perfectly with the nuttiness of the butternut squash and the walnuts. It really brings out some of the flavors and finishes the salad off. This salad is perfect as a fall starter course for any meal you may have, and it is definitely gonna be on my table this Thanksgiving. I can't wait for you guys to try this one.
Thanks for watching this video. To see more videos that you might enjoy, click over here or click down here and subscribe to our channel to see all the great new videos we come out with each week. Can't wait to see you again.